Before God, I entered into a covenant to provide prayer for you every day from now until Jesus comes. You'll never be without prayer again. Take advantage of it. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Good morning, everybody. Yes, welcome to Morning Prayer. We're so excited to be with you this morning. Of course, if you're joining us for the very first time, uh, this program, yes, it's called Morning Prayer for a reason. And what we're doing is, is uh, we're gathering together today to stand with you in faith concerning anything and everything you need prayer for. And so we're excited to, uh, to join you and link arms in faith. Amen. And so I want to encourage you today uh, to call in so that we can pray for you. It's 877-281-6297. Amen. We're so excited uh, that you've joined us today, wherever you've joined us and however you've joined us. I want to encourage you today to go download the Go Victory app. And of course, you can find us on social media, Facebook, at the Victory Channel, as well as Instagram. For all of you Instagrammers uh, out there, it's also at the Victory Channel. Amen. Well, listen, I'm not alone today. I am joined by my co-host, Miss Zuri. How are you this morning? I'm great. I'm so excited to be here. Like Good. Pastor Quest invited. If it's your first time watching, continue to watch us and yes. go ahead and invite a friend as well. We want you to share on the morning program. Bless someone else as well this morning. Praise God, we're so excited to have you. Listen, Pastor Terry says this, and she says it frequently. There's just something about it when people who know how to use their faith gather together in prayer concerning anything, amen. And so that's what we're doing today. Listen, I wanna check in with Catherine Hanley, who's also with us today uh, at the aisle. Catherine, how are you doing over there? Good morning. I am good and I am ready to go this morning. I'm ready to pray with you and agree with you. And you know, Pastor Quest, I was uh, meditating on something I heard Brother Copeland preach about in Mark chapter five with the woman with the issue of blood. And he said that she only had to do four things to receive from God. She believed that he could do it. She said it she received it and then she testified about it. And so I believe we're gonna see that in action this morning. We're gonna see you believing and receiving what God has for you. And then we're also gonna see you testifying what the Lord has been doing in your life. So we want you to call us with those prayer requests, those testimonies. That number is 877-281-6297. Praise God. Listen, there's something about using your authority, amen, as a believer concerning whatever it might be. And for you, it might be sickness. It might be an achy tooth. You might have pain in your lower back. For you farmers, it might be issues with crops, uh, livestock for you ranchers, whatever it is, we wanna join you in a spirit of faith and victory, amen, in Jesus' name concerning, uh, concerning anything, concerning whatever it might be today. Listen, I know we've got an amazing product offer. Let's talk about it for a second. We do, we do. We yeah. wanna hear prayer requests and your testimonies, but we also wanna bless you with this free product today. Um, it's the Authority of the Believer by Brother Copeland. It is the power available to every believer. Yeah, so right. go ahead and download it. Go, you can find it at govictory.com yeah. slash morning prayer. Praise God. Listen, here's what I want to do. I want to kick off this morning right away with a testimony. Can we do that together? Listen, it's usually Testimony Tuesday just because of the tease, but it's Wednesday, okay? So it is going to be Wonderful Working God Wednesday. That's what it's going to be today. Let me read this to you. Arlene called in and uh, number one, called for prayer, uh, called the prayer line a week ago for a friend's mother-in-law to have surgery concerning an aneurysm and it went well and she is going home. That's worth celebrating if you ask me. Number two on the, on the testimony here is uh, Arlene had a split tooth and couldn't go to the dentist at the time due to COVID, things of that nature. Listen, the tooth, she called in for prayer, the tooth miraculously worked its way out of her mouth with no blood and now there's no pain and no split tooth in Jesus mighty name. That's exciting and we're celebrating and I'm here to tell you today, no matter what it is, and I mean no matter what it is, I want you to make contact. I want you to touch your arm, touch your back, whatever it is you're experiencing pain or any abnormality in your body today, we wanna to agree with you in faith Amen concerning this. Listen, I'm gonna kick it off today. Of course, we read a testimony. Let's start reading some of these prayer requests, amen. Phyllis called in out of the city of Canton. Thank you for calling in, Phyllis. Says that Phyllis needs a new home. Uh, an old tree destroyed her current home and now is living uh, out of a storage building. Well, Phyllis, I know for a fact that is not God's best for your life and I know that you know that as well. And so we are leaning into the word of God this morning and God's promises are yes, 
and amen. Amen. So Phyllis, I'm in full agreement with you. There's a lot that are coming in right now. Listen, Stephanie called in out of Tucker concerning protection and healing. I'm going to read one more. Zuri, I'm going to have you read a few as well. Stella called in out of beautiful North Carolina concerning financial blessing and salvation for the family. Thank you for calling in Stella. And we are in full agreement with you this morning. Zori, what do you've got over there? I have a few testimonies right here in my yeah, hand. Yeah, let's read um, Pastor Quest, I have faith. Um, she called in last week for her friend um, who had a stroke and she is doing so much better now. Look how fast the Lord works in your life. Ooh. We have Mary from York. Um, she had a doctor's appointment to see if she had COVID-19 and that test came back negative. Amen. So we're believing for everyone else out there who's trying to test and see how their condition is. You are clean and you are, um, you're relieved for That's anything right. that anybody tries to bring against you. Yeah. Then we have Denise from California. Um, she also has a testimony regarding COVID-19 where she has over 125 employees. No one has tested positive for COVID-19. So thank you, Lord Praise Jesus, that God. you're continuing to protect all of these people, all of our essential workers that we have outside right now. Yes. And then my prayer request here, we have Janet from Burnside. Um, she's looking for healing for herself and her husband to be delivered from tobacco. So we thank you, Lord, that deliverance is upon their life and healing is coming right now. I have Lynn from Michigan. Uh, she needs a new optic uh, nerve and new vision to be restored. This is the year of 2020 vision. So we're believing and standing with you in faith that the Lord is restoring that eyesight. We have Sherry. Um, her prayer request is protection over COVID-19. Right now, we're calling out to everyone who is feeling like right now they have COVID-19, they have a fear upon them. We're pleading the blood, Psalms 91 upon your body. You are protected by the Lord God because he is there to comfort you and guide you Amen. in every way. Then we have Jesse from New York. Um, her granddaughter tested positive for COVID-19. So, you know, I just want to go ahead and take a moment and remind you of the testimony yeah. we had. We have God here who is not a respecter of persons. What he will do for one person, he will continue to do for all of you. We have Corey um, believing for healing of COVID-19 as well. I want to just take a moment and pray for everyone right now that's concerned for this, everyone who has that fear inside them. Lord, right now we come before you, we're presenting to you all of these lives, all of your children right now, believing that your healing is breaking ways, that nothing will come against them because your word says you bore all sicknesses and all diseases. And COVID is just a name uh, uh, below your name and your name is mightier than anything else. And the last one I hear of Pastor Quest, I have here is from Marion Somerville, freedom for her son and protection for him. So we thank you, Lord, for your continuous freedom and deliverance. Oh in man, Zuri, you're stirring me up over here. Praise God, I can get my preach on or my dance on <laughs> right now. Catherine Hanley, I know you are over there in the aisle surrounded by our prayer ministers, of course. Listen, I wanna ask you a couple of questions. Number one, for those of you viewing, maybe you're viewing for the very first time and you don't recognize or realize exactly where she's at right now. Catherine, explain where you're at. What 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 is the energy like over there spiritually? Amen. What, what's going on over there in the yeah, aisle? Yeah, well, I'm over here in the aisle um, where, as you can see around me, I have um, some of our licensed prayer ministers who are on the phones right now um, taking our calls from our partners. And these people are licensed to pray the word of God, stand in agreement with you concerning anything that you're believing God for. And they're not just here while we're on the program, but they are here all day, every day, ready to pray with you, to stand in agreement with you. And it is awesome. I love being over here in the aisle because there is just such a supercharged atmosphere. It's filled with faith, filled with the word of God. And I just love getting to reach out there and connect with you wherever you're watching. Maybe you're watching from work, from your car, from home. Um, it's just an honor that we get to connect with you and partner with you in the place of prayer. And so I want to encourage you again, call us 877-281-6297. We'd love to hear from you. And Pastor Quest, I want to kick it, this off over yeah. here with a testimony. This is from Camden and Melrose. He said, his dog was missing for three days and was found at his neighbor's and his grandmother also had a low blood sugar attack and was able to recover at the hospital. Wow. So Camden, thank you for sharing that testimony. What's lost is found. What was broken has now been healed and restored. And we're believing for continued healing in your grandmother's life in Jesus name. I have Beverly here from Camp Hill, uh, believing for her family members um, in with drugs, uh, her grandson to have deliverance. So Father Lord, right now we lift up Beverly's family to you. Yeah. Father, we thank you that you are mighty to save, that you are mighty to deliver. And Lord, we thank you, God, that you are delivering from drugs, from addiction. You're breaking those chains off of their lives. Father, and I thank you that you are manifesting yourself to them in greater glory in Jesus' mighty name. I have Desiree here from DeSoto believing for her marriage. 
And we know that marriage is something that God created and that's what He chose to represent His relationship with His bride, the church in the earth. And so we're believing for restoration in that marriage, Desiree, in Jesus' name. John here from Austin is believing for healing for his Aunt Patty. So we declare that she is healed from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Geraldine from Ro Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina is believing for healing, family peace, favor, and protection. Well, Geraldine, we declare that you have all of those things because those things are part of the blessing. And let me tell you something, the blessing of God makes you rich, it adds no sorrow with it. The blessing of God provides healing. The blessing of God provides deliverance, restoration in your relationships. Amen. And if you are born again, blood-bought believer, that means that you have access to everything that Jesus paid for. You have access to walk in the blessing in your life. So we want you again to call us 877-281-6297. I, I just feel in my spirit too, if you're really, if you're believing God, you've been pressing into God for healing in your body or for provision in, yeah. your, in the area of your finances, we want to yeah. hear from you. We want to agree with you. We want you to come jump into the anointing that's flowing through our prayer ministers this morning yeah. and let us agree with you in prayer. We're going to go back to you, Pastor Clyde. Amen. Praise God. Listen, I want to lean into that today concerning finances. Maybe you're buying a house, whatever, for the very first time. I thank you, Father, for supernatural favor that you can listen, that you can receive from wherever you are, wherever you are. I want to stir you up in this. Here's a clip from Gloria Copeland. Listen, you can receive your healing right now from wherever you are. In just a moment, I'm going to tell you a story just along those lines. Here's a clip of Gloria Copeland uh, as she leads us in a confession of faith for us to take our healing. Check this out. The power of God's present to heal right now. We know that. And even right where you sit in this entire auditorium, it's permeated with the power of God. And you can sit right where you are, if you prefer that, and say, I take my healing now. Are you ready to do it in faith? Yes. Say, Father, Father. Jesus bore my sicknesses. Jesus bore my sicknesses. And carried my diseases. Carried my diseases. And by his stripes I was healed. And by his stripes I was healed. If I was healed, I am healed. If I was healed, I am healed. And I take my healing now. I take my healing now. And I reach out and do things I couldn't do before. I act on it. I am healed. Praise God. I am healed and you are healed. Listen, today is the day for your total healing and restoration. Now listen, if you've ever seen any of those classic car uh, television shows where they're restoring a car, listen, they're not just slapping on a fresh coat of paint, throw a new tire or two on the thing and hit the road. No, it's a full blown restoration. I believe God is doing that in your body today. And listen, it can happen right now no matter where you are. I want to encourage you with a little story, a very short story as we continue to read some of these prayer requests. You know, Billy Burke was on the program uh, fairly recently within the last several weeks. And uh, while on the program ministering healing on television, there were people at home watching who literally reached out to touch the television, made contact with their television and received their full healing, not just healing, but full restoration in their arm. Amen. Listen, there's something about it when people who are willing to use their faith concerning whatever it is, your healing, your financial issue, reach out in faith, amen, and receive it right where they're at. Listen, we want to agree with you this morning. Give us a call. It is 877-281-6297. Uh, amen. Listen, I want to read a few of these. Mary called in out of La Vista. Thank you for calling in this morning, Mary. Husband needs new van, uh, present van 4,000 to repair. I'm believing God for the finances for you, Mary, concerning that vehicle. Olana out of Sacramento called in. Her sister is having brain surgery tomorrow. Olana, thank you for calling in. We're in full agreement for a safe and secure surgery in Jesus' name. Sherry called in out of the great city of Austin and uh, they need prayer requests because they need to move. And I've got Giovanna out of Roseman uh, who needs help getting things done and staying healthy. Well, listen, I believe in God that you'll get the help you need, that people will reach out to you in Jesus' name. Supernatural favor with people 
in Jesus' my name. Zuri, what you got over here? I have Linda from Fort Wayne. Uh, she's believing for wisdom and direction. So we thank you, Lord, right now that that, um, that deliverance in her mind is correct. Well, that you are there working Praise miracles God. and giving her that wisdom that she so needs. We have Sobian from Atlanta, believing for her emotional healing and God to help her. The word of God says, call out to me and I will help you and I will heal you. So stand in faith and believe what the word has to say about you. We have George in Virginia, healing for his wife. We thank you all right now that you're going to bring healing to her. We have Adele in Norwalk, um, also believing for healing. We have Barbara in Lancaster, believing for healing as well. Lisa from Glidden, um, her mother needs healing from a stroke. And then I have Johnny, who's... Um, whose wife also, um, needs healing in her gums and in her body. So I have so many here for healing. And you know, the word of God says that your, your healing shall spring forth speedily. It's not something he's gonna have you endure or have you live with. It's That's something right. he's gonna release upon you. And I just right wanna now. remind you of something that Brother Copeland says. Spe um, faith is a spiritual force, a supernatural force that has the ability to affect that in the natural substance. So stand on that in agreement as we pray with you every single day. Amen, praise God. Listen, I wanna check uh, with Catherine Hanley over there in the aisle. Catherine, how are you doing? I am good. As you can see, our prayer ministers are on the phones praying, and it is just so awesome to be able to connect with you wherever you're watching. And you know, something that Zuri just mentioned that I just loved is she's talking about Brother Copeland and what he said about faith. And something else he says about faith all the time is that faith begins where the will of God is known. Amen. And I want to encourage you and remind you that God's will is healing. God's will for you is the blessing. It's that provision, that restoration, that deliverance that we've been talking about this morning. And so he wants you well. He wants you prospering. And we're believing that is going to manifest in your life today. I have a, a testimony here from Barb. She said that her husband, Alan's surgery went well. And we pray, you know, we've had people call in on their way to the hospital, at the hospital, about to go into surgery and agreed in prayer. And so maybe you're facing surgery in your life. Be encouraged. This is a testimony. This man's surgery went well. That's the power of prayer and the power of agreement. Uh, Linda here from Williamsburg, Virginia is asking for salvation and deliverance for Stephanie. So Father Lord, we thank you, God, that you are saving, delivering, healing, and restoring Stephanie from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, Father, not only in her outward body, but also her soul, her mind, her will, and her emotions. And Father, we thank you for it in Jesus' name. I have Wanda here from Medford, believing for favor for her daughter to get into the doctor's office for an appointment. Well, we believe that you have that favor. And like I just said, God wants your daughter well, Wanda. So we're believing that she's gonna get into the right doctor at the right time and that doctor is going to have wisdom from heaven to know exactly what to do. Uh, Charles here from Mobile is believing for deliverance from shortness of breath. So Charles, I just want you to begin to take some deep breaths. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Begin to praise the Lord. Pastor George just talked about at church on Sunday how our praise is a weapon. And so we're believing that as you begin to praise God, you're going to begin to uh, fight off the attack of the enemy that he's trying to put on your body and you're going to begin to breathe deeply and well in Jesus. Jesus name. Victoria here from Casa Grande, believing for healing. She needs a home, a car, and finances. So we command angels concerning you, Victoria, to guide you in all of your ways, as Psalm 91 says, to, to provide that home, that car, those finances that you need in Jesus' name. Just a couple more here. Maria from Isleta is believing for Matthew. It doesn't say what, but Lord, we know that you know exactly what's going on in Matthew's life. And so, Father, I thank you for your blessing over him, your hand of protection in his life, in Jesus' mighty name. And then one more. I have Allegra here from Detroit is believing for wisdom in ministry and healing in her family. So we're believing uh, Allegra with you that God has made himself unto you wisdom. You have the wisdom of God because the Holy Spirit is alive on the inside of you. And so we're believing that that is manifesting in your life right now. We're going to go back to you guys. Praise God. Listen, I want to encourage you uh, to call in at 877-281-6297. We want to agree with you in faith. Come on. Amen. Concerning whatever it might be, and it might be healing for you. It might be back pain to you. Listen, Catherine mentioned finances earlier. You might need finances to get through this season. I want to encourage you to call and let us agree with you. We've got prayer ministers on the phone right now. Uh, amen. And so we want to do that. 877-281-6297. Listen, I've got a few more of these. I want to read Dodie out of Fort Worth. Uh, wonderful testimony. Called yesterday morning about her friend's husband uh, concerning blood pressure and heart problems. He was released from the hospital yesterday afternoon after he made a total and complete turnaround in Jesus' mighty name. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you for calling in, Dodie. I know that the Word of God works and that God watches over His Word to perform it. Otherwise, the cross was pointless. 
Yeah, well, silence hits the air real quick, huh? Otherwise, the blood of Jesus was spilled for absolutely no reason. Amen. And you weren't called, you weren't, God didn't create you to live with those issues. Amen. No, those, the price was paid for your sickness and disease. Amen. Amen. Can I get a bigger amen on the other side of that camera? Listen, Ruby called in out of Franklin uh, concerning high lever enzymes. Mary called in out of Douglasville concerning family healing and jobs. Deborah out of Kansas concerning uh uh, pain in the back of the head. And I've got one more. Ann out of Blackstone called in. Thank you so much. Called in out of Blackstone concerning her son and family is buying their very first home. Amen. Listen, we mentioned that earlier on air. God is going to be making a way where there seems to make, where there seems to be no way. Well, my credit isn't there. Well, God can supernaturally raise your credit score today. Money can supernaturally end up in your bank account. People will supernaturally hand you. I'm telling you, the limits are off when you get God involved right. in your situation. And I'll say this, Zuri, as we continue to read more, there is something about it when somebody who is a tither, a giver, and a partner, there is something that unlocks for them in Jesus' mighty name when they get their finances involved. It's right. like, like clockwork. It always happens in Jesus' name. What do you got over here, Zuri? That's right. Praise God, God is a way maker and a God of breakthroughs. So That's anything right. you have, just lift it up and present it to the Lord. Yes. I have Mary from San Antonio. She's believing for healing from her glaucoma. So we're releasing that from you right now yes. that the Lord is changing your eyes so that He's relieving you from that blurry vision. We have uh, Pat from Earl believing for, um, for Kimberly. We don't know, Kimberly, what is happening to you with right now, but we're praying healing, provision, and favor upon your life right now. I have uh, Susie from Fre Freesboro. Uh, believe her favor in her job and if you favor goes before you the Lord will shine his light upon you and bring those jobs to you right now we have Chandra from Milwaukee um, husband uh, wanting husbands delivered from his stomach pain so we thank you Lord right now that you're releasing that pain you're giving him comfort in that peace we have Esther from Colorado believing for Marcia we thank you Lord that Marcia is in your hands and you're continuing to provide for her and then I have Teresa uh, from Olathe wanting freedom from chronic pain. So we lift that up to the Lord right now. That pain is leaving you right now. You're not continuously gonna have that pain because the Lord is making miracles happen in your body. Then I have Shariah from St. Paul. Uh, she wants healing for her brother who is in a coma. So right now, if you wanna go ahead and uh, take your hands forward to where your brother is, we call life into his body. You call those nervous systems to be lifted up, his body to have that recovery. And then we have Betty from Pageland. Um, she wants healing from cancer and she wants the doctors to be proved wrong. So you know, as we were talking about the yeah. Lord being a way maker, Absolutely. a God of miracles and signs and wonders. He is a God who can prove all doctors wrong by believing and standing in faith. Right. We're standing in agreement that the Lord is working right now. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Let me read a couple more of these and then I want to see a, a clip from Pastor Terry Copeland Pearson's. Amen. Laura called in as well out of Colonial Beach. Uh, thank you for calling in, Laura, concerning a friend's baby brain tumor. Uh, and healing and deliverance from that. That's not something we take lightly and it's not something we just breeze over. We are hooked up in faith with you concerning full restoration of the brain of that beautiful baby in Jesus' mighty name. Glenn out of Swedesboro, debt freedom in Jesus' name. Irene out of Jane Lou, uh, procedure to go well and full recovery. I believe in God for that. Aresia out of Buford, Georgia, healing for sore throat and runny nose. And Charlene out of Memphis called concerning COVID-19. I don't know if you have it, Charlene, or if you're just calling about COVID-19, but our faith is hooked up with you in Jesus' mighty name. Listen, real quick, I want to see this clip from Pastor Terry Copeland Pearson's uh, concerning people who are prayers, not just sending your prayers, but people who are prayers and how close they can be to the heart of God. Pastor Terry explains what it really means to be a prayer in our day to day life. Don't go anyway. Watch this clip. We matter to the plan of God and in particular prayers, prayers, not just prayers, but prayers. That's you. Say, that's me. That's me. I'm, a I'm a prayer. Hallelujah. You know, there are some people who who pray just like there are people who grow tomatoes in their backyard, but that doesn't make you a farmer. Well, just because you pray sometimes doesn't make you a prayer. But if you will get up early, ready to go, ready to, to, to go into the throne room and do business with the Almighty and for the Almighty, then I would say that you are a prayer. Amen, amen, glory to God. You know, I love that clip. 
She talks about going into the throne room of God, ready to do business with the Almighty. Let me tell you something. God's word says we can enter his throne room boldly with confidence because we are children of the most high God. And so I want to encourage you, maybe you need to be praying some bold prayers this morning. We're going to pray in boldness today. We're going to use the authority we've been given through the cross of Jesus. And we're going to believe that we have what we pray for in Jesus' mighty name. So that number is 877-281-6297. I have a testimony here from Nancy in Lake City, Florida. Uh, she was started to praise the Lord and a muscle spasm stopped. Glory to God, Nancy. Thank you for sharing that. And let me remind you, Pastor George just talked about on Sunday that our praise is a weapon. So maybe you're watching this uh, program right now and there are symptoms trying to come on your body. I want you to begin to praise the Lord and begin to use your praise as a weapon. Praise in spite of how you feel. Praise in spite of your circumstances. And we're believing to see breakthrough happen in your life. Uh, this is Patricia. She's believing for a Supreme Court justice, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg to be healed uh, and for Patricia to have healing for her eyes and for her husband to have finances to attend Southwest this year. So Amen. Patricia, we are in faith with you concerning that healing, concerning the healing of our leaders. The word of God instructs us to first of all, pray for those, those in authority. So we're believing that that healing is taking place and that you have the finances you need to come and receive the word of God this year, this summer for the, at the Southwest Believers Convention. And then I have several here uh, about healing. This is Judy from Norcross, believing for healing from breast cancer and arthritis in uh, her hand. So Father, right now we curse the name of breast cancer. We curse it. We say that it has no right to be in her body and we rebuke the devil and say that he has no place to attack a child of the most high God. And we say that you are healed and whole from the top of your head to the soles of your feet in Jesus' mighty name. Laura from Pueblo is believing for healing. Lily from Georgia is believing for her uh, friend for healing from knee surgery, internal bleeding to be stopped. We say that that's happening right now. Stanley June from holidays, believing for healing for her lower back and throughout her body. So we say that you have healing in Jesus name. Kenny from Ariba is believing for salvation and healing from cancer for a friend. We're getting lots of requests for cancer. We're believing that cancer is just a name and cancer has no power. You know, it can seem powerful in a moment. It can seem powerful and overwhelming in a diagnosis. But let me tell you, cancer has no power place in your life or in your body. And he also called with a testimony. His wife's heart was healed of a defect. So we are rejoicing. We serve a healing God. He's not just something that he does, but it's who he is. I just have a couple more here. Quest, we're going to go back to you. Vivian from Roebuck is believing for her sister Marionette's healing and colon tests today. Georgia from Tucson is believing to be debt free. Um, and Margaret from Lubbock is believing for a good report. So we say that you have a good report according to Hebrews chapter 11. Faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. Amen. We're going to go back to your quest. Amen. Praise God. Listen, I believe that and I agree with it in Jesus mighty name. Listen, Sylvia called in concerning healing. Luella out of Denmark called in uh, concerning healing. Let me grab a couple more of these, Zuri, and I'll have you read a few as well. Listen, prayer. Listen, they're coming in and uh, and we're here to agree with you. Amen. And listen, it's not it's not just that we're calling in and you've made the prayer request. We are seeing prayer requests turn into glory stories and testimonies around here. And I'm so excited about it. Listen, Bill called in out of North Carolina concerning health and healing. Rebecca out of Pennsylvania called in concerning a routine procedure today and is expecting it to go well. Well, going well is going to be our new routine in Jesus name. Patricia out of Newark uh, called in concerning family in peace. Praise God. Zuri, what do you got over there? I have Beth in Covington believing for favor in the release of her new book. The word of God says, Amen. delight in the Lord and I will give you the Praise desires God. of your heart. So we're standing in agreement right now in your word, Lord Jesus. We have Kat from Richardson believe for complete and total healing of friends. Thank you, Lord, that you're working in her body and her friend's body. I have Pam from Long Beach, finances to be restored, husband to have a job and provision to be in their home. I want to remind you of something that Brother Copeland says, financial harvests are not seasonal. As you continue to uh, sow in the Lord, you will continue to reap as well. So we're thanking you, Lord Jesus, for the provisions coming to their home. I have Velda from um, Plate, healing for her eyes and hearing. I have Sandra believing for healing of her kidneys and Caroline to be relieved of all pain. So we thank you, Lord, right now. We come into agreement in the word of God for you. 
praise God. Listen, here's what I want to do. We're down to just about the last minute here. I'm going to read a couple more of these and then I would like to pray over uh, this stack. It's, this is not just a stack of paper. I mean, these are people. These are people's lives. Amen. Listen to this. Christian from the, Never from the Netherlands called in uh, concerning healing from dizziness. Uh, and healing in his back, Mary out of England concerning healing, Arlene out of Canada, gallbladder issues, Ronald out of Fort Worth, Texas, uh, calls in uh, concerning healing for brother Lonnie. Listen, no matter where you are and wherever you are, we want to stand with you in faith. Listen, we're about ready to go off the air. We're going to pray it out, but I want to encourage you to jump on to Victory Update today, 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central. We've got special guest Bill Krause, and I don't want you to miss it. Listen, we're going to pray our way out of here. We'll see you next time. Father God, I thank you right now in Jesus' name.